Well, it looks like somebody supplied toothpicks with new technology. That is a phased car for race, Sly. One touch means instant death. Switch into your jailbird costume and try using that ball in a different way. Press the R2 button to get on top of it. You should be able to ride it around using the left stick. I'll just stay put and pretend like I'm not carrying enough TNT to blow myself to kingdom come. Huh, that did the trick. Let's keep moving along. in front of the door is some kind of locking mechanism. And that block is the key. Now you just need to figure out how to get it in there. So, tell me about Sheriff Toothpick. Toothpick? That shady son of a gun is crookeder than a sack of corkscrews. Plus, he paid me for that bank job and took the gold himself. I just know it. one who's got to lug the dynamite. Well, let's get going. I ain't getting any younger. I just want to say, I 
I knew you was a Cooper the second I laid eyes on you. Thanks, but Tennessee, we need to go. You ready? Well, uh, not really. Whoa! Somehow, we had managed to survive and make it back to the hideout. Once there, Tennessee gave us the lowdown, how he'd been planning the bank heist that should have gone down in Cooper lore as his masterpiece, only to have a mysterious new sheriff arrest him before he even reached the bank. Curiously, the robbery still occurred and all the bank's gold was stolen. Tennessee was charged even though he was already in prison and the gold was never recovered. Of course, he had a strong suspicion it was Sheriff Toothpick himself who had stolen the gold and framed him. And after a little research, there was no doubt he was right. Bentley was able to uncover plenty of information about the Sheriff. Although he changed his appearance somewhat, Toothpick was a two-bit gangster from present-day Eastern Europe. According to his file, he'd grown up loving two things, gold and cowboy movies. He eventually specialized in gold robberies, and for a while had masterminded some of the largest scores around the world. Then he abruptly vanished. The word was he had always thought of himself as a gunslinger, and it looked like he had found a way to make that a reality. The guy was a real loose cannon. We'd have to watch our backs if we were going to steal back the missing gold and restore Tennessee Kid Cooper's reputation as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. Okay, the first order of business is getting Tennessee his guns back. Well, it's just the one gun now. I upgraded. But yeah, I need my shooting iron back. Agreed. Uh, according to my sources, Toothpick closed this old gold mine several months ago, declaring it unsafe. In fact, he's converted it to a storage facility for his stolen goods, including Tennessee's gun. We'll need to take measures with this job so as not to arouse suspicion. So, employing a masterful disguise, I'll tail Toothpick to the mine's entrance and mark it with a homing beacon. Murray, you'll then use the beacon to find your way there. Toothpick's sure to have secured the entrance, so we'll need your formidable skills to get it open. Then, once we have access, Tennessee can get in and get his gun back. Let's get to work! Okay, I need to keep up with this guy. I better stay close, but out of direct sight. Dang it! My tongue is feeling mighty unsatisfied. When is the next shipment of Cuban lollies going to show? Should be right around this bed. Huh? Oh, <laughs> oh, this town is looking like real ramshackle. Maybe I should blow it up when I'm done here. 
Oh, I better get me new shipment of lollipops soon. I got me the real hankery. Gotta stay close, but not too close. Hmm. I don't like. Hmm. 